Hi, welcome to learnhowtogarden.com and in today's episode of the 10 Minute Gardener I'm going to be talking to you about one of this season's real sort of trendy vegetables and that's asparagus peas. If you're not subscribed to me at Learn How to Garden, there's a link directly above this film. Click on that, it'll take you to my website, input your email address, and every time I put up a new film, I can let you know, and it also means you get access to our free monthly newsletter. We're here in my mom Betty's 10 minute garden. This is a small urban garden, so every inch of space has to be productive. And what we have here, this beautifully grown plant, is the asparagus pea. And it's grown fantastically well. These were planted out in about eight weeks ago and they're a classic pea they're fixing nitrogen in the soil and they have really interesting little pods and i'll get a couple for you i've allowed these these ones are too big you really want to eat them at about an inch long it's been very, very easy to grow, really easy to grow. There's been no problems with it. We've had to keep it well watered and it's cropping really well now. And the reason I've grown this is it's um, a very, very popular vegetable this year. There's lots talked about this asparagus pea. The taste is supposed to be very similar to asparagus with a hint of pea. And I'd have to say it's taken up a third of the bed. It has beautiful little red flowers, it will look fantastic in your garden. The only problem I've encountered is it tastes bloody awful. Um, I've tasted these, ooh, throw it away. I've been tasting these for a while at this size. We've tried steaming them and putting butter on. Uh, the closest thing I could say is it tastes a bit like damp cardboard. It was described by my um, other half as being a bit like carpet underlay. Uh, my friend Benjamin Ranyard uh, asked me if I was getting him to test a weed to see what it was like. And my son, who's a chef, said he thought it was the most pointless thing he'd ever had given to him. It really is tasteless. My honest advice would be, if you want asparagus, you're going to have to go to the effort of growing asparagus. The best thing that could have been in here would be some dwarf peas that would be fantastic uh, and would grow just as well. And if you want my honest opinion, the best thing you could do with an asparagus pea plant would be that. Get them out, throw them away. You've been able to grow asparagus peas in England since 1590. If it was really tasty, if it was worth its place in the garden, if it was so tasty that you know you couldn't live without it, we'd all be growing them. The reason it is not very popular and not very fashionable is it just doesn't taste any good. And at the end of the day, it's all about taste. Since um, I decided to make this film, I've looked on the internet and there are two or three blogs out there and everybody who's growing it says the same thing. It's like the king's new clothes. We all believe it should taste better. The unfortunate truth is it just is a tasteless little, very pretty pea relative. Thanks a lot for watching Learn How to Garden. Till next time.